Well, Dom, thank you so much for welcoming me to your farm this afternoon to show me the hard work that you and your family have been putting into the land around here since, is it 1959? Yeah, that's right. And for me, the hard work is only just starting. I think, you know, my grandpa arrived here in 1959 mm. as a tenant and we've, as a family, grandpa and dad have built this farm up. You know, the farm has taken generations to build and it just feels like uh, the decisions have been made recently yeah. are really coming after us. And you expect government to enable and encourage you. Farming is enough of a gamble, as we've yeah. seen across the farm today. We've been fighting the weather, supply and demand, the markets, new, new waves of, of crops and pests. And you just hope the government's going to help you out or at least get out of the way. And it feels like they're coming for us in all sorts of ways and the inheritance tax and all those sorts of things that we've talked about today. But uh, in other ways, the way they're pushing us, you know, the British public are going to have to choose. They want food or they want pink flowers. And, and for me, there's something about being a farmer and growing food at a time when the world's getting, you know, much more complicated. And, and, and we as farmers just want to farm and, and we're it, being pushed the other way. And our food is such a high quality as well. And uh, you know, around the world, other countries uh, co complement us on our farming industry, yeah. on the standards we, we maintain for yeah. crops, but also, of course, animal welfare. Yeah. And this government seems to be turning a blind eye to all of this. I think that's right. I think the British people are going to have to choose. Do they want local, high quality food where we behave ourselves, we play by the rules, yeah. we get after the regulations? Or do they want food that's been on boats and whatever else for, for weeks and weeks on, on end and, and it just feels as a farmer that we're not getting that much help on that. And how did you feel when this week a former Labour advisor said on national television yeah. that um, he wanted uh, farmers to be treated as Maggie Thatcher treated the miners and I think he said we do not need small farmers. Yeah, for me, like I wasn't even standing when no. uh, the miners' yeah. stuff was going on. So for me, I'm just I don't understand the relationship between no. something that happened forty odd years ago and farming and food sovereignty. For me, that there's no class at Conninger Farm. We've spent the last four months working our socks off, lads and lasses, uh, from you know across the team, and to suggest that it's about class when the countryside is coming together to just try and grow yeah. food to me seems absolutely nuts and completely out of touch okay. with the rural community i agree well thank you so much for hosting me this afternoon i think we're going to go and get a cup of tea aren't we and no, warm I, I, up i think you i think you deserve it <laughs> thank you